Hello and welcome back guys to Popcornet. I'm James Baker, the host of Popcornet, and on this episode I'm reviewing The Nun. If you like my content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've seen The Nun, please let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments below. So The Nun follows a, uh, a young woman who's accompanied by a priest to investigate some paranormal stuff that's going on in the local town at the Abbey. Um, it starts off with a, uh, a nun committing suicide for some particular reason and they have to go investigate it. So when I saw this trailer, I was extremely excited to go see this and I couldn't wait for it to come out. Especially this year with so many good things happening in uh, the horror genre, like uh, The Quiet Place and Hereditary. I was looking forward to this movie and I did not want to be disappointed. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. And it sucks because this was the first thing I did when I got back from vacation. As soon as I got home, I dropped off my luggage, made sure everything was okay with the apartment. And I went straight to the movies, and I was just like, should I just stayed home? I was so disappointed to the point that I was just like, should I even like make this video? Because I just don't want to rant the whole time. But that's one thing I want to do with this channel, just give you my complete and honest opinion about a movie. And it just happens this time I didn't like the movie. But I will say this, you may enjoy the movie. Uh, this movie is filled with a lot of jump scares, and I know people are... Uh, different when it comes to fear. Some people are scared of certain things and this movie was very jump scared dependent and that's something that I did not like. It just felt like one of those haunted houses, you know, when you walk in and you know everything's about to happen and you're just looking around the corner like, I see you, I know it's about to happen. And then like they jump out like, ah! And you're just like, hmm. That's exactly what this movie was. I treated this movie like a standalone movie. Uh, I'm a big fan of Conjuring 1 and 2. I skipped out on Annabelle because I don't really watch a lot of movies that are uh, revolve around haunted dolls. That's one thing I kind of like draw the line at. But back to what I was saying earlier, this movie is very jump scare dependent to the point that it just became annoying. And all it became was a lot of just loud noises and just, what are we doing? And this movie has absolutely no character development at all. I'm just sitting there waiting to feel something towards these characters when they're getting these, themselves into these like situations, but I felt nothing at all. There are so many times during this movie when I just felt like walking out and I'm just like looking at my phone and see how much time like I have left with this film and it just sucks. I'm just like maybe the last 30 minutes are like the big hoorah or the biggest climax of the film, but nothing happened at all. The biggest positive of this film that I found was like you actually find out the origin of Valak and how she was released into the world. Now I, found, I thought that was really cool. Like you actually found out how this whole Conjuring universe started until they make another prequel. <laughs> well, that's about it, guys. Not a whole lot going on here. Um, I don't want to just keep ranting for another five minutes, so that's the end of my review. Um, I ended up giving this movie like a D plus. Um, I didn't want to give it an F because we did find out a little bit more about the Conjuring universe and uh, Valak, but that's about it. That's the only positive that could really get out of this. And uh, if you've seen the movie, please let me know in the comment box below what you thought about the film and if you liked it or not. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Till next time. Peace.